Yo, Taiga coming in, getting getting everybody to like slap them in the face and just say, wake the hell up, man. Hey guys, it's Celeviathan, and we're back with another reaction. <laughs> Today, we are continuing up. We're on Tribe 9, Episode 9, and Man O' Man was Episode 8, an entertaining 20 minutes. Man O' Man. <laughs> I never knew that the Oto Tribe was going to be this crazy, but honestly, I'm all for it. Uh, quick recap of last episode, you know, we had um, the Oto Tribe basically being... Um, hired guns to go kill Ayama and essentially kind of um, hunting him down. Um, it was really cool to see kind of like um, how they were trying to like attack him in the beginning and they didn't just jump right into XP right away. I liked that a lot because we got to see a little bit of hilarity ensue with them trying to like run for their lives. But ultimately, you know, the Minato tribe kind of helps out, steps in and they en end up challenging them to XP. So uh, as per XP rules, you know, if you challenge somebody to XP, you know, there's no inter-tribe fighting, no conflict. So they kind of settle it with XPs, which I like. That's a really cool concept that they said in the first episode and it's actually kind of playing in to the um closer to the end of the episode here um what i liked about the last episode was the fact that the ultra tribe had no idea what the rules were they were <laughs> completely lost they were doing their own thing they were just kind of having a, uh, a ball and it was great to see but ultimately you know um they weren't for, for that shit at all, you know, and then they started to kind of do their own thing, switch it around, and then they started cheating, you know, they started hacking the rural robots, and at that point, the Minotaur tribe basically could not handle them, you know, I, I thought at that point, the, the robots were the only thing keeping them safe, and now they're, it's basically open season on the Minotaur tribe, so... Everybody pretty much gets taken down and only Haru and Ayama are, are left standing and this is where we learn a little bit about Ayama's past and I didn't know this and I'm glad they exposed this but apparently Ojiro and Ayama were both hired by the Ultri family to kind of play XB but I think they were forced to compete against each other because before they used to be friends they played XB together they had a ball it was great but now they're they're enemies and whatnot and I'm thinking that Ojiro was the person who took out Ayama's um, hand his right hand because when you look at it man it's just mangled and, and, and it's pretty obvious that Ojiro was the one who did it but uh, we'll, we'll wait and see. I'm expecting a backstory this episode, so we'll, it will probably clear up some stuff going forward. But um, yeah, let's get started. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And also, check out the Patreon link as well. You know, you get full-on cut reactions of this show, other anime, movies, TV shows. Honestly, check it out. It's, it's definitely worth it. Um, the way I structure it is um, I make the first couple of episodes of a series free. Just kind of give people a little bit of a sample. So uh, check it out and see if it's for you. But um, with that note, we're going to get started with uh, Tribe 9, Episode 9. <laughs> that that was that was so that was so like <laughs> let's get started <laughs> oh damn i was i was just kind of like um making an educated guess but i guess we're actually going into a backstory here <laughs> they just kind of just jumped jumped right into it man <laughs> Yep, yep, there it is, man. I knew he was the one who busted up his arm, bro. Okay, so I guess they weren't really showing us the backstory here. They were kind of giving us a little bit of a tidbit of like how his arm got broken. But I'm glad we're just jumping right into this because I was more interested in seeing this. <laughs> Wait, what? Ah, oh, yo, I'm, I'm embarrassed, bro. I'm hoping this man actually, like, trained and didn't just, like, run away or something. Kazuki! 
I'm liking this new Tiger, bro. I was really getting tired of Tiger kind of feeling sorry for himself too much. I'm glad he's like now kind of picking everybody else up. Game when you get out in the world, it's hard to oh my to auto a Kazuki no yoninka. Tension is there at a Nasaka and I'm a king. The Kimitachi Chikazita was on a fusion of Tamisa. Oi, Orea, I know you carry a road on Kara, my own mamma, the condamini at ten dazo. Dakara, Nani, Mamma, the Krenante Tanunda, boy, a naked. Oi, oi, oi. Hey, 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 oi, 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 yo, Tiger coming in, getting, getting everybody to like slap them in the face and just say, wake the hell up, man. We ain't lost yet. We haven't lost yet. Kazuki was a little bit of 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 a Whatever, yeah, they still gotta get their revenge, man. Like what uh, what happened with Ojiro and what happened with Kamiya, man. They need to they need to be able to get their revenge. Oh, he missed it. But the fact that he he's strong enough to throw it as fast as possible, it's still going to keep going. <laughs> they found a way to actually hit without hitting at all, man. But hey, that's pretty cool too. Creating a vortex of air? That's actually more impressive. <laughs> There is like no way that the Ultra Tribe will be able to like um, kind of uh, come back after this, but I feel like they still are gonna keep, they're still gonna try to come back after this. They have so many members, man. This damn Sonata. <laughs> you damn cheat! You're a damn cheat, Mr. Sonada. You're a damn cheat. I basically disrupt her disruption, you know? Disrupt the disruption, bro. Disruptception. I don't know how that works, but... <laughs> you don't know how badly I loved seeing that, man. You know, you know, um, uh, Kamiya brought them together, Haru and Taiga, and this is the first time I've ever seen them actually work together. It was really, it was actually a really good moment. Nah, come on. Nah, that's some that's some straight up stupidity. <laughs> Yo, dude, she fallen for Taiga. She fallen for Taiga. Kimitachi <laughs> Technically, would Taika's hits count as like fair hits because he's not technically hitting the bat? So, would the Judge Robot call out on it now that they're working? Hmm, I wonder.
I think that's Kazuki's special talent, bro. This man is perfect on offense, bro. He has like the the speed and the agility to kind of bypass a bunch of these guys, man. Come on. Hit it with the beam! Hit it with the beam! Hit it with the beam! Yes! Yes! I knew he was gonna do it, man. Oh, yo, man. All he needed was just a little bit of confidence, man. Yo, this guy destroyed the, the judge robot! Dude, do not do that shit, yo. They're all gonna be attacking him now. How did all the other judge robots just let him destroy a judge robot like that without attacking him? That's so strange. This is a crazy game, bro. Russian roulette with bombs? There's no way Sonata's done like that. There's no way. <laughs> Was that it? Was that it? <laughs> I'm a little bit underwhelmed here that Sonata kind of got taken out after the first detonation. <laughs> えっと、君、大田の子だよね。そうだよ。帰らなくていいの? Hey, got himself a woman, yo. <laughs> I, hey, I was saying last episode too, Inoki don't look that bad either, man. So is she a new member of the Minato tribe? Yo, I'm all for it, bro. Inoki, come on, join and join in, man. <laughs> Be really great. He's leaving the Minato tribe, so he's like, why are you leaving? We're gonna learn about his backstory. So you're telling me that they were kidnapped as children and then they were forced to basically go, go against each other, man? I think he wants to save him, he doesn't want to get revenge on him. Yeah, they ain't gonna let this guy go like that, bro. They ain't gonna let him go. We're Nakama, man. Now and forever. I really like this episode, man. It, it first off, it gave us it gave us some pro, uh, character progression for Taiga and Haru both, and it also gave us a bit more information on uh, Ayama here. So. Honestly, it was a really good episode here. But who knows what the hell is gonna go on. Yo, tension. Yo. Yo, screw that shit, bro. Ojiro's gonna be like, yo, screw that shit, bro. I don't like to cheat, bro. I'll take him down with my own strength. Yo, Ojiro is not down with that cheating shit, bro. He's like, yo, screw that. Like, yo, throw that cheating shit away, bro. そう<笑> Did he finally get him? No, I knew Ojiro was gonna do this shit. <laughs> I knew it. <sighs> I had a oh oh oh. <sighs> All right, guys, that was Tribe Nine, Episode Nine. I had a feeling that was gonna happen at the ending. I had a feeling. I, I like when I saw Ojiro at that moment where he was like. 
clenching his fist in that moment and how the guy was sprouting his spiel about oh like victory is all that matters we're, we're the ones who are on top we we are we are the kings maybe oh maybe i should make the new rules now and then Odra's like you should make the new rules nah nah homie nah that's too much i was down with your tyrannical ship before but now you're insulting me and my abilities man nah Great episode, honestly, though. Like, quick recap from what happened with the Ultra Tribe. You know, Tiger came back, you know, kind of gave everybody some inspiration, man. He kind of gave up, came in there, and he got, he hyped everybody up, man. And it was great to see, because, like, he usually was the one who was a little bit um, on the depressed side for being useless. So I was really happy to see that he kind of found his own way to be useful, you know? And it was, it was impressive, because I didn't think that's what they were talking about when they meant that his power was so strong that he doesn't need to hit it. But I didn't know they meant that it would be that strong that he would create a vortex or a cyclone or something to push the ball out. So that's impressive. That's very impressive. But I feel like it's going to waste Taiga's energy a lot. So it might not be a, the best type of um, a solution, but whatever. Haru though, I'm happy. He finally had a successful hit with the beam bat. It's not easy. That shit is not easy to control, but he did it. And I'm happy for him, man, because like I was waiting for that for a while. You saw that you could see the excitement um, when, when that happened, man. I was happy. I was excited because I've been waiting for this. Haru, Haru is starting to really grow on me as a character. Usually characters like him, Tim and Nature, all that crap, I don't really usually resonate with. More ca characters I usually resonate with more are like Taiga. But Haru, Haru has been really like impressing me. You know, I like I like how he 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 just kind of steps up. And, you know, he doesn't he doesn't complain and he does what he needs to do, you know, even after um, Kamiya died, you know, it was it was tough for him at, to kind of move on with that. But uh, and seeing the metamorphosis here where where the things that Kamiya left with them is still there is it, it's been it's really great to see, honestly. Um, we got a little bit of Kazuki and Ojiro's backstory, which was amazing, I might add. Um, I like the fact that um, Kazuki and that and wants actually to save Ojiro instead of actually get a revenge on him. And I had a feeling that's what was gonna happen. Like they were homies, you know. They were they were friends. They grew up in the same orphanage, you know. And it sounded so or or whatever they said they grew up in. I think it was an orphanage. Um, I'm assuming it is, but whatever. They were homies. They grew up in the same orphanage. But tension kidnapped him essentially and forced him to do XP, right? So this tension guy is is, is a big problem, but. Now he's dead, so I don't know what the hell is gonna happen here. I like I somewhat expected Odro to attack him, but when they flipped off to the other scene with Sonata, I was like, oh no, I don't think he's gonna do anything right now. Maybe next episode, but he did it. What I'm really interested in is I want to see if that that dude actually got Sonata. Did he actually stab him? Did he actually get him? Because when he, when I saw that he was about to, and he's like, yes, this is chaos. I'm like, did he finally get him? It's the three episode arc of us seeing this guy trying to kill Sonata. I don't know what his name is, but is it finally fulfilled? We'll see next episode. <laughs> but with that note, um, yeah, I think I'll leave it off at that. We have, I think, about um, four more episodes left to watch. So at this point in recording, episode 12 has already been um, put out, so I'm a bit, a bit behind. But I'm going to try to blitz the next four episodes to kind of um, record and put them out too. But um, yeah, with that note, I will be done with this i will see you guys around stay safe again i'm loving all the support you guys have been giving me i see the channel slowly growing um getting up there and you know it's really reflecting a lot of that um effort you know so i'm happy and i'm hoping that you guys are enjoying what you're watching but again this is the fourth goodbye see ya <laughs>